having a little lunch day with Pele. Chris has never been. This is his first time he got Kung Pao chicken. I got my pad thai that I love. It smells so good. So today we are having a spring, like spring fling open house at the cosmetic surgeon's office that I work for. And we've been working really hard on it and we're excited to be doing that today. So I have this dress on from Target. And then I have this flower crown because um, they want us all to wear flowers in our hair. And I bought this a while back because I was going to be Lana Del Rey for Halloween one year and I never was. And you know how she had like the really pretty flower crowns. So I have this that I'm going to wear later. And then I have these earrings on from Jewel Mint that are a little like daisies. And then I have like a rose gold sparkly eye on today. And I just straightened my hair, but I'm actually getting my hair cut today by a really awesome hairstylist that's in Scottsdale that's kind of demoing at our spring fling. So you guys will see later what my hair looks like. Look at how cute Lola looks. She's got her little bow on. Good girl. Lola is our emotional support puppy in the office. All right, guys, I got my hair cut at the party today because we had a hairstylist doing like a demo. Hold on, let me take this down. So he gave me some long fringe and just some texture and layers. I hope you can see that. It's a little A-line. I like it. I like it a lot. Good morning, I just wanted to show you, I styled my hair a little bit differently than last night. Um, just like gave it a little bit of a curl. I'm not so sure how I feel about the layers on the top because I feel like, I just think I needs to be a little shorter for the layers, like just like a little shorter. Um, but I still like it. I put some texturizing spray in it too to give it some more <laughs> volume. Um, and I do have like, let me take this down so you guys can see. I have some fringe, like just side, little fringe. Um, but it drives me nuts all day at work, so I have to pin it back. But you can kind of see it, whatever. Um, my shirt is from American Rag, and I got it at, was it Dillard's? Yeah. I think it's so pretty. It cinches in at the waist. I really like it. Okay, off to work. Oh, my lip color is from MAC and it is Lip lip Tensity. Lip Tensity Lipstick in Smoked Almond. Don't pay attention to my brows because I think I have to fix them in the center a little bit, but I wanted to show you my makeup today because I thought it was fun and different. I always do neutrals, but today I did like a purpley, sparkly, eye a little bit and then my lip is a little bit darker than I usually would go but the eyeshadow is predominantly the Stila Glitter and Glow in Sunset Cove. My lip is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow with a little bit of Max Oyster Girl lip gloss. So an amazing subscriber Megan sent me a piece of her artwork today and a really sweet card and um, a Starbucks gift card which was so sweet of her but she creates these art pieces and they are like three dimensional and they have glitter elements, really unique and fun. And she can customize them to do um, different coloring too. So of course um, I wanted a little bit of pink cause I wanted to have this in my makeup room. She offered to make one for me and it's, it's so cool cause I have a piece of her original artwork and I will make sure to link her down below for you guys if you're interested in her really beautiful artwork. Thank you so much, Megan. I really appreciate you doing this for me and sending me this sweet card. Um, it really made my night, so thank you. And then I also got two items from Octily for review purposes. Pure Minerals sent the 4-in-1 Press Mineral Makeup in the shade Light. 
Um, I've actually used this powder in the past and really loved it. And to be honest, I've been using other powders and nothing has compared. Um, as you guys, I don't know if you guys remember, sorry, hold on, let me pull this out. This is what it looks like. As you guys remembered, I had the limited edition packaging one with the like um, bling on the top. I think this is taped closed. It is. I was trying to show you guys, but you get the idea. And they're sold at Ulta. Um, and yeah, it's just such a good powder. It's full coverage. It doesn't look really powdery. It has a little bit of SPF in it. And it sets my makeup and it just looks beautiful. I can wear it to set my makeup or to just um, use as a full coverage powder. And this I'm excited to try out. This is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 30. It says it gives a natural luminous finish and I got the shade Ivory. And First Aid Beauty is a really good brand if you have any sensitivity, whether it's rosacea or eczema or anything like that, they are the brand for you um, because they really don't irritate the skin, which I love. So I'll try and remember to use this tomorrow so you guys can see how it works on my skin. Good morning, it's Friday, and today I am going with my, well, two out of my three bridesmaids to go bridesmaid, bridesmaid dress shopping. One of my bridesmaids is eight months pregnant, and so she's just not in the spot to go bridesmaid dress shopping, but it is like the time for it, so we can't wait much longer. Um, and Eliana is in town from California, my best friend who is my maid of honor. So Mama B is gonna come with us too tonight, and we're gonna go to Bella Bridesmaids in Scottsdale. It was recommended to me. And so we're gonna go and try on bridesmaid dresses for them today and hopefully pick one out. And then um, my other bridesmaid, Joan, we're gonna send her pictures and so she can still be a part of it. And then she'll go try hers on later after she's done being pregnant. Um, today I have this shirt on. It's definitely like a stretchy material with the crisscross pattern. It's like a burgundy color with my jacket on from Target. And then I have some hoop earrings on. My hair is not cooperating. I feel like I look like Medusa. Like I tried to recurl it and it's just not working with me today. My lip color is Bitch Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury. I kind of love saying that. <laughs> It's just a really fun color. I love it. And then I just have a rose gold shadow on from L'Oreal and Amber Rush on my lids today. And it, oh, I don't know why I'm showing you a towel in the background, but also Chris is going, Chris and Gavin are going on a boys camping trip this weekend starting tonight. I'm going to miss them so much, but you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder, I guess. Um, but I'm definitely going to miss them. So but I'm excited for them to have like some boys time and they're going with a bunch of other guy friends. Um, so I know they'll have a great time. And so I'm going to also spend some more time with Eliana and my friend Sadie that used to live with me after the bridesmaid um, dress try on. So I'll make sure to try and film a little bit while I'm there today so you guys can get a, like a sneak peek of the possible dresses that are going to be in my wedding. I just thought I would share with you guys more on the vlog what I'm eating to try and be healthier and lose some weight. Um, so when I go to Starbucks, I get the hearty oatmeal with blueberries and this is the caramel macchiato a tall in a grande cup so they put more ice with non-fat milk um and this has one shot of espresso in it already with two pumps of the i think vanilla and then they do put caramel in it but i always tell them to put less caramel um because that's you know the sugar <laughs> and so this is what's going to be my breakfast i don't have this every day a lot of the times i'll just have a piece of fruit or i'll have a protein bar and coffee at home um, or there's another espresso drink I've been drinking at home. So I'll make sure to share that. If I don't share it this week, I will share it next week in the vlog what I'm eating more so you guys can see what I'm pretty much what I'm eating and doing. On Fridays when we go on date night, I usually have that as my quote unquote cheat meal. And so I'll allow myself to have a little more carbs like the sushi or even pasta sometimes. Um, or I'll have like a sweet treat. So I do allow myself a little more leeway on Fridays, but I do try to stick um, pretty strictly during the week. So I'll, I'm gonna definitely try and share more with you guys here on the vlog with my eating. All right guys, I'm with Mama B. Hello. Look how skinny Mama B is getting. Oh brother, I'm fat. No, but how many pounds have you lost? Tell them. 30. See? 30 pounds is a huge thing. No, it's not. Yes, it is, Mom. That's insane. 
She's doing so good, you guys. I know you're going to ask, like, what she's doing. Can I tell them? Yes. She's doing Ideal Protein. Look it up. I'm not going to go into I've details about it. I've done it before. It. They know I've done it before. Oh, that's right. A while ago. But she's doing it now. We're trying to find the bridesmaid place, but that's where we're going. And I'll try to vlog a little bit while we're in there, too. ignore the bad lighting but we did end up picking bridesmaid dresses and a dress for Eliana who's my maid of honor so we got that locked down and then I went to dinner with my friend Sadie and Eliana we went to this vegan vegan hot dog place and I totally forgot to vlog sorry about that but then I came home to a surprise let me show you so I came home and this made me smile so big Chris had these flowers Really beautiful flowers. Oh, there's a sunflower. I love sunflowers. Really pretty, cheery flowers for me in the sweet note. <laughs> and I'm gonna miss him so much. I mean, I'm happy for him that he gets to go camping with the guys and have fun, but I'm gonna miss him. And then I went to the bedroom to put something away and these beautiful roses were on the bed. It literally almost made me cry. They're so beautiful. And I had this note on there. So, thank you, babe, if you're watching. Excuse if you can hear Enrique Iglesias' music in the background. I also got this Sol de Janeiro body spray. Um, it's the Copacabana. Unfortunately, when I took the wrapper off, some of the writing came off. Um, I think it might have been the heat from outside. I don't know. Um, but this is alongside the Copa, uh, Coco Cabana body lotion, and I really love that. But this fragrance mist, I'm not so sure it goes well with my body composition. I'm going to have to ask Chris what he thinks when he comes back home. It definitely has a really nice fresh coconut scent to it, but I, I think I like the original much better. But I'm going to keep trying it and see. Um, the best way... Sorry, I'm smelling it on my skin again. The best way I could describe it is that it's like a sweet coconut scent, but there's like a slight after note that I'm not sure what it is, and I don't know if I appreciate it yet. Um, let's see. Okay, so it says coconut and caramel, praline, marshmallow, honey, and toasted vanilla latte. See, it is very sweet with coconut, so I think it's the caramel note that might not be mixing well with my body composition, but it does smell very sweet and delicious, and I love the lotion on my skin. I love how it feels. It's very hydrating and it smells really good. Um, maybe I could use this in combination with the lotion and it might wear better on me. So I'll keep using it and let you guys know. Blackmail material right here. That's Brian. <laughs> 95 folks though. He's only two. I'm watching home videos. My dad uploaded them on this um, software that we can watch them on and I'm literally dying. I've been laughing for like a good hour watching these. Yes, that's me. Embarrassing, but true. <laughs> Look how tan I am though. I was always super tan as a kid. So I was always outside. <laughs> By the way, these tutus were from my life-size Barbie. Does anyone remember life-size Barbie? Happy Saturday, guys. So I just went to a Home Goods TJ Maxx combo opening. And for those of you who don't do Ray Dunn, opening just means like when the store opens, you go right away to see what new stuff they have because that's when a lot of people go and grab all the new good stuff. Um, I did get that little milk carafe. That's kind of hard to find. Um, but it's some lady, you guys. There was like a group of us waiting in the front um, for a good 15 minutes. This older lady comes up with, gets a, grabs a cart and they opened, for some reason they opened the out 
entrance or the out exit area first and then they opened our entrance area she went through the exit and like got in front of us I mean mind you she's a much older lady and I thought okay maybe she's just like trying to get into home goods fast today I did not think I mean Ray Dunn doesn't have an age obviously but I really didn't think that she would be that disrespectful to go in front of all of us and I also didn't think she maybe was even looking for Ray Dunn but I was big time wrong and she like made a beeline like psh, like right for them where the bird houses might be none of them were over there so then like obviously I went into the area where all the dishes and stuff are and that's where I found the milk carafe um it's like a little mini one I think you call it a carafe I don't know um and there wasn't that much else I almost got the good morning good night plates with the colored interior but I already have a good morning bowl did I say plates? I meant bowl. I already have a good morning bowl. It doesn't have the color interior, but it's not that important to me. Um, but some lady found two birdhouses. Of course, she picked up both of them. They were the same style, so I'm guessing she's either going to trade them or sell them. But they were kind of hidden underneath a table display. So she found them. I'm just glad that that older lady didn't find them because she was so rude and disrespectful that she didn't deserve to find them. <laughs> Karma. But yeah, someone found two bird houses today, but I guess they purposely are hiding them from us now. And then um, I need to go to the mailbox and I need to run a few errands today while the boys are not here. We're at Hobby, Hobby Lobby Mama Bee's with me. And you wanna say hi? <laughs> I saw this cute little beehive thing. There's so much like galvanized metal things and stuff too. I'll show you guys what I have in the cart so far. It's just like two Fourth of July things. Mama B and I are at Blue 32, and usually I get the Southwest salad like Mama B is having, but I got grilled shrimp tacos today, and they look amazing. So yes, I'm in my PJs and I'm editing the vlog right now and I'm almost done. Mama Bee and I watched like a marathon of Game of Thrones season seven to get ready for the season finale of the fight or the season premiere of the final season tomorrow. Who else is excited? We are so excited. My brother, I think he's going to come over tomorrow. He's supposed to come over today to watch like the marathon with us, but he didn't, but whatever. Um, we had fun and then I tried to catch up on some comments and editing the vlog. But I had to show you guys that when Mama B and I were out, we did happen to go to TJ Maxx next to Hobby Lobby. And I found Sweet Tea Pitcher. This is a hard find. So I was really, really excited. This is the ceramic Sweet Tea Radon Pitcher. So I had to share that with you guys. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't share what we were looking at at Hobby Lobby as much as I wanted to. My bridesmaid Joan called me right after I did that last clip there. So I didn't really get to share with you. But I promise I will share those few things later in another vlog. But I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you next week.